Gentlemen and ladies, welcome back to the shop. Tonight we've got a treat. We're going to be looking at a Super 8 cine film projector. Um, stripping it down. We're well, not stripping it down, just taking the covers off to have a look and see how it all works. And we're also going to see the kind of output that it had. So stay tuned. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Remember this being the height of technology when Dad bought it. I believe it was about 1981. But you can see from the box that it's uh, that kind of it's had a hard life. So first of all, you have to fit the reel of film that you're going to be using. Uh, make sure that that clicks into the spool correctly. Then we turn it to the load film position. Pull down the gate key, and then feed the film in, and that feeds it all the way through that gate that's marked with SS. You can see the bulb there across the recording head then out the back now this is the take up reel and this is actually an automatic take up reel but as you can see because it's so old it just takes a few seconds of film going through uh, before it settles down and you can tell it's grabbed the film properly because in a second what you'll see is that reel actually slow right down there we go and that's ready to now show the film so as you can see this thing was built when mechanics was key and uh, they really have crammed a lot into such a small case. Uh, you can see all the moving parts there. Incidentally, this has been kept in the loft for 30 years. And the grease in there is still good. So it's obviously a decent quality. Uh, if you look on the left-hand side of this image or this uh, video, you can see that the voltage regulator there, how you select the different voltages. And it's very tight, just between 250 and 220. So here's the kind of output you can expect. Now, I should say that this is actually out of focus uh, on the camera that it was originally recorded on. Uh, you have to remember that there was no LCD screens then, you were looking through a viewfinder and uh, it was very very small, and very difficult to focus. Uh, this was of course uh, shot by my late father uh, on a trip to Denmark when we went to Legoland. So all this stuff here is actually made from Lego. But I don't think that's too bad, considering the technology of the time. This is all mechanical uh, moving parts. I think he's done a pretty good job. There we go guys, that thing's been sat in the attic for at least 30 years. Uh, it was left to be by my father and a bunch of films as well and I didn't really know what was on them. So uh, we've plugged it in and uh, doing it a quick test there and everything seems to be working apart from the audio amplifier which is a shame. Uh, perhaps that's something for a later video. We'll go through that board and see if there is anything we can do to resurrect that. Uh, we've seen the output from it. It's actually not that bad a quality uh, when you think of the technology from that sort of age. Um, still pretty impressive. Anyway guys, if you have liked and subscribed to the video then uh, thank you very much, it really does mean a lot to us. If you've liked this video, give it a quick thumbs up down below and uh, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. Ring the bell so you get notifications of our future videos. Anyway guys, that's all I have for you tonight. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.